Bolívia. Dog is chained outside from 15 years until a freak accident changed his entire life. Rescue workers raced to the scene of a potential disaster when they heard that a house in New Philadelphia, Pennsylvania had collapsed. When they arrived, however, the last thing they expected to see was a husky tied in a widened chain. Pennsylvania actually has strict animal welfare laws. For instance, it's illegal to keep a dog chained up outside for more than 9 hours a day. In the winter month, the number drops, and in freezing weather, a dog can only be chained up outside for 30 minutes. This poor dog, whose name was Cloud, was not just being chained up illegally. He was forced to stand in his own waist. To make matters worse, a battered truck roof was all that he had for shelter. These conditions were deplorable. When rescue workers from the Hellside SPCA arrived on the scene, they quickly concluded the cloud had probably been chained up for most of his life. Thankfully, after learning they were breaking the law, Cloud's owner relinquished him to the SPCA team. When we met Cloud, we were in shock at his condition, said Hillside SPCA assistant manager Trisha Moyer. He was a broken, sad shell of a dog. His fur was thickly matted. He had a large mass on his hand and, and he was very thin. The SPCA veterinary performed an examination and they learned that the mass on Cloud's rear was actually a tumor. Sadly, given his age, it was not safe to operate. To make matters worse, they also determined that the poor dog was deaf. Unfortunately, Cloud had a difficult time thriving in the shelter environment. Every hour he was awake, he would pace until he collapsed, and then he would walk back up and start his cycle of pacing all over again. The shelter decided it was time to reach out for help. They contacted Eleanor Garrett with Senior Dog Haven and Hospice to see if she could foster Cloud. This dog was not acting like a dog at all, it is just a mess, said Eleanor. He's walking into things, I don't think he would never inside anywhere in his life, so he was just so out of sorts. Her heart went out to the dog and she was happy to foster him, but that love was not enough to instantly heal Cloud. He wouldn't stop basing, he wouldn't stop moving, said Eleanor. I had him in my house and he was knocking things over. He was running into things and I thought, oh no, this is going to be difficult. Cloud was wary of people too and he did everything in his power to avoid Eleanor and her three children. He wouldn't interact with us and if you tried to go over him, he would just hide in the corner, she said. He found a spot in my laundry room next to my dryer. There were things next to me and he knocked it all over. It was almost like he was trying to get behind the dryer to hide. He stayed like that over 24 hours, she said. Eleanor decided not to try and force him out, and instead she gave him time until she had a breakthrough. I was in my laundry room getting something, and all of a sudden I felt this little swipe of a paw on my foot, said Eleanor. I looked down, and he was sweeping at me to try to sit down and bet him, so I sat down and started betting him. And he started giving me kisses, and any time I stopped, he would swipe his paw to me again. It was like he seemed to rely that we were friendly and we were safe, Eleanor said. Every day from that point, he just go better and better and better, was Cloud finally turning a corner. Of course, there were still bumps in the road. We always had to go outside to get to him back in. He would never just come back to the door, said Eleanor. But at one point, he realized, hey, I want to be inside. And every time he would go out, he would go to the bathroom. And he would come right back to the door and sit right at the door and wait to come in. Eleanor didn't take sole credit for Cloud's amazing recovery either. She thought her six other dogs played a major role. It was almost like my dogs taught me how to be a dog and how to act, she said. As much as she loved him, Eleanor never planned on keeping Cloud. Seven pooches would have been too much. She was understandably delighted when she learned about a couple who wanted to meet him. They arranged an initial meeting, and it was love at first bet for all parties involved. The husband leaned down to bet him, and Cloud got up and gave him a big kiss in the face. And the husband was like, all right, we can do this. We have got to take him. We are definitely taking him, said Eleanor. Cloud moved in with his new family a week later. 
better, and in spite of concerns about his adjusting, he took to the place like a fish to water. It was almost like he could tell how much his adoptive family loved him. They have created a bucket list for him. They are working on all sorts of things that he never get to do his entire life. Eleanor said, he has been going on walks. I don't think he has ever been walked before and he loves it. They got him a big orthopedic bed. Someone contacted them about doing a photo shoot. Somebody else contacted them and said they could offer a doggy massage, she added. While Cloud's former life was one of a struggle, he was finally given safety, security and love. So many dogs never got the chance and Cloud was certainly one very lucky boy. Now he was able to enjoy his new forever home more than anyone thought possible. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like and share it. If you haven't already, subscribe down below to get notified.